Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Here's in a half shell. Turtle power. Ah, we're going to talk about a, a YouTube controversy. I get, yes, a YouTube what kind controversy. Of it is a... Uh, <laughs> were you in She-Hulk? I was. You were. Yep. Uh, Angry Holy Joe, Hulk. the angriest shill in the world versus Eric July, Eric the Ripper, of the creator of the Ripperverse. If you are not up to date on what's going on, we figured we would weigh in because we have a clear and present danger or opinion on this. So here you have um, clear and present blaprol. Angry, you have Angry Joe, who is like supposed angry. to be angry, but he actually just likes everything. He's like, I really like this. This sounds great. Wait, does he like Bla blaprol? Oh yes. Oh. oh, he loves it. Yeah. So then you have, and then you have Eric July, who speaks the truth, who's a fan of Thomas Soul, and is just like, look, this is the way things really are. He's like, you know, don't don't tokenize people. It's not a good idea. But let's take a look. There's a story on bounding into comics, which we will catch up on. All right. YouTuber Angry Joe requests an apology from ISOM creator Eric July. Eric July created his own comic book, put his money where his mouth is, and raised like upwards of two or three million dollars to make ISOM. The only thing I'll say is he made ISOM a while ago, and I think they're still waiting for issue two. So. You need to catch up on that, bro. Like, let's get issue two out there before you start pounding the pavement. I'm, I'm, I feel like I heard that the first uh, issue was really long, so it takes, like, a long time to put out the second one. It's fair. Okay. Well, if you write, like, 75 pages of a graphic novel or, like, a comic book, like, dude, 75 pages is a lot. Like, the, your average comic book is, like, 20 pages. Is it really? Mm-hmm. Well. So if he did that much, look, I don't know that much about it. I, I don't want to, like, put... Wrong. I'm sure I'm wrong. Let's talk about the Blurtles. The Blurtles. The so, Turtles. YouTuber Joe Vargas, a.k.a. Soft Joe, or, I mean, Soft Joe, he requested an apology from fellow YouTuber and ISOM creator Eric July after uh, July called out Vargas for a number of false accusations he made against him. Basically, he was lumping Eric July and his staff in the same thing and saying that anybody who doesn't like Ninja Turtles, the new one from Seth Rogen, is racist. Is a whole racist and oh, wait, is that what he said? Oh yeah, he said oh, that. Jesus yeah, Christ. and a phobe, and basically he's like, you know, he's like, I can see it. People could be angry about this because, of course, they had to race swap April, but she's been race swap before. So like, I don't Has really she? care. Yeah, she was race swap before. Where? In one of the most recent Ninja Turtle things. <laughs> so what I think is it so here's what they go is, is Megan Fox Asian well that was my point I was gonna get to that because if you recall so people are upset about April being race swapped which is not the first time she's been race swapped but there's a more important swapping that we need to talk about if you were around when the original turtle not the original turtles but the most recent like CGI turtles came out and they hired Megan Fox do you not recall that people were absolutely furious that Megan Fox was April O'Neil? Were they really? Yeah, they were like, she's not an she's not a ginger. She's a brunette. They're like, what what is going on here? They're pissed. Wait, was April a ginger? Yeah. Oh. You don't remember that? Did you not watch the Ninja Turtles when you were a kid? I did, but I don't remember. I just remember Megan Fox. Not the CGI one, the cartoon version that everybody loves. Uh, no, uh, there was a 2007 cartoon nope, version. Nope, there was that, a movie. That was a pretty no. good one. I like this. That. Is April O'Neil? Oh, that's the original April. Oh, and Megan Fox does not look like her. She does not at all. No. So I remember back then, people were really mad about the casting of Megan Fox. It's like you're bringing in the Transformers girl. She's too. She's a sexy girl. She's not. Doesn't look like her. In fact, there's one scene where they actually make her wear the orange wig, and it's a disguise. So, and and that my point is, don't mess with the original characters. People get mad when you mess with the original designs. They don't want to see them. But the original designs were racist. Apparently, so July criticized the race swap and design writing on Twitter. 
Tell me you didn't pay money for this. New TMNT animated reboots opts to tokenize April O'Neil as fat black woman. This has resulted in fake fans spreading already debunked information. DOA full man full video is live on YouTube. So basically, people were starting to say, people were trying to say that April O'Neil was originally a black woman. She was not. She was always a white chick from the original comic books. And obviously to this, uh, in fact, I think there is, uh, I don't know. They get into this whole debate back and forth and angry Joe goes after all these people. So, um, Eric puts this, uh, puts this video up <clears throat> and then his colorist from his ISOM comics, Gabe, uh, says April O'Neil is white redheaded lady. Just stop you dummies. So he's just pointing it out, like, look, that's what she originally looked like, more or less. Her original character is a little different. She kind of had a perm at one point, but whatever. No, uh, so then a bunch of other people was like, I know the attack on redheads is real, but come on, April O'Neil. So they gave, you know, they made her look like Velma, and nobody wants that. And then Melanie Mack also criticized. She goes, uh, you could have at least made her into a cute. Uh, black girl, which I think this actually, this picture is actually kind of like, that's cute with her with the little Ninja Turtles. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Better than what we got. Well, they made, they're saying they made her ugly on purpose. So it's, it's basically Velma on HBO Max. Correct. She kind of does look like Velma on HBO she Max. She kind of does look like Velma. So apparently Vargas took, took issue with this and he hasn't made a YouTube video about it. He's only done this on Twitter because he's a big He's a big Twitter boy where he asked, you know, he says Twitter things instead of making an actual video and discussing what is real. And he calls them, he accused them of being racist and weirdos. <laughs> he tweeted, racist, April O'Neil is white, not black. I'm tired of being replaced. This is BS, woke, woke, woke. Not racist weirdos. I don't care that she's black, but why isn't she this 12-year-old and hot and sexy instead of ugly and fat? Can't wank. Wait. Is, is she supposed to be 12? I sure hope not, because <laughs> I don't know how she has a job as a reporter, because that violates <laughs> labor laws yeah. if she's 12. And I know that these turtles are young, because it sounds like Donnie... They're all, they're they, all like 10 They're children. all like kids, and they're yeah. having... Their voices haven't... I feel like that's going to get annoying over a length of a movie. Yeah, you watch that for an hour and a half, or, t or an hour and 45 minutes to two hours. Like, really? You're going to really like that? So he's like, the rest of us, who cares as long as it's a good movie? And, and, and here's, I watched his review. And in his review, he only watched the trailer. And he was already saying, because it looks a little bit like Into the Spider-Verse. He's like, I, can't, I wonder if they could do this as a TV show. This looks so great. Yo, mf -er, you haven't even watched the whole thing yet. You don't know if it's good. You're already saying, like, does it need a TV show? Bro, you didn't see the movie. You don't know if it needs a TV show. How can you make that that judgment? It's so stupid. Like, what a dumb-ass take that you could take on that. How can you say something needs a TV show if you've never even seen the movie? It's like saying the Legion of Superheroes needs a movie, and you didn't even watch the movie. <laughs> <clears throat> it needs a sequel, obviously. Uh, so a bunch of people responded, and they're saying, like, they're creatively bankrupt. They just race swap, whatever. I, like, and look, I don't care. They already... Ray swapped her once, so who cares? What doesn't make sense is, is she a reporter? She's not a reporter. Is she overage or underage? She, yeah, if she's 12, why, who, who, what is she reporting on? Like, I, I don't, I don't understand how that works. Doesn't make any sense. Um, uh, but apparently Eric July went on to say something like, uh, that makes him a punk B. Oh, he was real mad that Vargas kind of implied that this. He said he's either likening me to be a racist or likening me to be a pedo. Huh. And by he's like, uh, he does that by showing me right here, saying something about the whole situation, because he took, he he took Eric's clip, like his his like headline, and put it in his tweet and said like, and was accusing him of stuff. And he goes, that's, and Eric goes, that's not something I'm going to play around with. Like, likening me to pee filing or likening me even to be a racist, considering that I'm a black man. <laughs> so it's either one or two of the both, one or two of the both. I'm either a racist as he's showing the example or I'm, a, I'm the racist. I, 
Eric July was not happy. And he did say, he goes, he planned on confronting Vargas in person. If they happen to be at the same event together, he goes, I'm coming to see you for this statement because that's not anything I'm playing around at all with likening me something to that. Yeah, he, but he did clarify. He said, I'm not going to go see him and punch him in the face. I'm going to hash it out like a man. He even, he says it here. He goes in the event that we're at the same con, I'm going to go see him and we're going to address it. That does not mean I'm going to punch him in his effing face. That means we're going to talk about it. I'm saying that I'm one of the, he doesn't shy away from confrontation. So I think Angry Joe picked the wrong fight. Have you seen Eric July? I don't know who either of these people are. Well, Eric July, he's like the lead singer of a metal band. Like the dude is, what? uh, yeah, he, and now he's like, you, you're going to, you're going to thread me in person, man. Yeah. And, and, and Joe's been having trouble with his own audience. His own audience has kind of turned on him. And he also accused Eric July's audience of ratioing his videos. Who? Yeah, I mean, obviously, ratioing videos is bad. Ratioing? Oh, ratioing. Uh, race showing. No, downvoting. I mean, this is a lot of internet drama. What do you feel about all of this? I don't. Jesus. Obviously. You feel Jesus? Why is there a picture of Jesus? That's a good question. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure either. Uh, I the the annoying the little, catechism the annoying little children of TMNT is gonna suck. It's so a little it, strange that they're all little kids and Jackie Chan is Master Splinter. Jackie Chan's awesome, but why does he have a fucking afro? Jackie I, Chan's I don't know. Chinese. Doesn't that seem like cultural appropriation? It does. Seth Rogen. That seems racist. I blame Seth Rogen for this, and I just I thought their voices like they're like ki- like. They don't really know how to use their weapons properly. Like, I want to see the Ninja Turtles as, like, efficient. I know they're teenagers, but they're not preteens. They're not preteens. They're they're real teenagers. So, I don't know. Let let us know what you think down below. I don't think we've picked any sides. Is there a clear winner here? Uh, the, the The not racist one. Who's that? Eric July? Eric July, who's, who's the, one? the who's the regular non woke one? Eric, Eric July, July. yeah, yes. he wins. Okay, Eric, there you heard it here. Noob Noob says Eric July wins. Angry Joe needs to go back to the drawing board. Let us know what you think down in the comments below. Uh, I like I said, people use made a big deal about you know who's that girl Megan Fox, who's like one of the hottest chicks on earth. They were pissed about that. They're not going to be pissed about this, of course. Everyone's going to whine about everything. Either way, let us know down below. Catch our full-length audio podcast for free. Stitcher, Spotify, iTunes, all those places. Live stream, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on YouTube. Catch us on Rumble. All those things and more. We love you. Thank you for listening. We are on to the next one.